This PowerPoint will show how to solve some problems using sinusoidal models, models involving sine and cos curves. And in the first example, we have this spring oscillating above a table. The rest position is uh, 50 centimeters above the table. So it's stretched down so it's only 25 centimeters above the table. That's its low position, and it would oscillate between being 75 above the table and 25 above the table. And we're asked to determine these characteristics of the graph and then write an equation and then uh, answer this question at the bottom. So first of all, the amplitude, uh, a few different ways we can find the amplitude. Since the difference between the rest position and the high of 75 is 25, or the rest position and the low of 25 is 25, the amplitude must be 25 centimeters. Uh, on the graph, uh, we can see that there's a, a trough at 25, a peak at 75, the difference between those is 50. And remember, the amplitude is half of that. So there are several ways that we could find the amplitude is 25. The period is the length of one full, full cycle. So if we start at a trough here and cycle to a trough here, that is the length of one full cycle. Notice each second is broken into five blocks. So it must be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and then two seconds. So that would be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, be 1.6 seconds right there. So the length of the period is 1.6 seconds. The phase shift depends on whether you're going to use a sine or cos model. And I'm going to start with cos here. So if we thought of, remember the cos starts, we usually think of it as starting at a peak. So peak to peak, that's one full cycle for the cosine curve. The phase shift, or remember that's another word for the horizontal translation, is how much that cosine graph has been moved over from the vertical axis to there, which would be 0 0.8 seconds. So the phase shift is 0.8 seconds to the right if you're using a cosine model. Now if you're using a sine model, we'd probably think of the sine graph as starting here and then ending there. So the phase shift for the sine graph or horizontal translation is 0.4 seconds to the right. So it depends on whether you want to use a cosine or a sine model. The rest of the whole question, um, the, all your answers will be the same depending on whether you're using uh, sine or cos. It will not matter. The vertical translation is uh, how much the graph has been moved up from the uh, horizontal axis. So the vertical translation, one way to find the vertical translation, to find that middle point where the axis is, is the average where the trough is and where a peak is. So we average 75 and 25 to get the middle, then add them and divide by 2. We get the vertical translation is at 50. So 50 is the middle. Also, if we look at the diagram up here, 50 is supposed to be the rest position, so that's also where the vertical translation should be as well. So to write an equation, and I'll write both the uh, sine and cos, uh, h equals 25, cos 360 over 1.6, times the time minus 0 0.8, plus 50. So just to recap, the 25 is the amplitude, the period is 1.6, so 360 over 1.6. It's always 360 over the length of the period. Uh, the phase shift or horizontal translation for the cosine was 0.8 to the right. So t minus 0.8. And the vertical translation is 50 up. That's why there's a plus 50 in the end. Now if we're going to use a sine model, the only difference is the phase shift. Okay, Amplitude still 25. Period still 1.6. And the only difference is instead of t minus 0 0.8 for the sine, it's t minus 0 0.4. Again, plus 50 in the end. Now, uh, a couple of ways that we could answer f. We're asked to find the height of the mass at the end of the spring at 2.1 seconds. So 2.1 seconds would be right here. So we could read this from the graph, go up to here, and then horizontally over here, we see that it should be pretty close to 60 centimeters above the table. We could use the calculator and substitute 2.1 in place of time here or in the sign. It wouldn't matter. And I'm going to show you that calculation. So it will be, and again, remember, we're putting 2.1 here in place of time. So it would be 25 cos 360 over 1.6 times in brackets 2.1 minus the 0.8 plus 50. And just like uh, reading from the graph, we see that it's very close to 60, sec 60 centimeters. If I was to show you the sine calculation, if you use the sine model, and we change the phase shift to 0.4, again, we do get the same value. So 
back to the uh, end of this page. The uh, mass should be at a height of about 60 centimeters above the table at 2.1 seconds. Okay, on to the other example on the second